Hi guys, um, <clears throat> quick video. Uh, I know my videos seem to be like buses. Um, I do none for ages and then two come along. Um, but I got some things um, that I wanted to show. Um, firstly, uh, I picked this up, um, which is the new Jamiroquai album. Um, I have basically everything that they've ever done. Um, so uh, I had to pick this up. Um, lovely packaging. It was pretty pricey, to be honest. Um, but uh, I had to get it. Um, and I also picked up uh, this, which is the limited edition signed copy of the CD um, which is basically the uh, comes in a package kind of like the vinyl um, unlike the normal the normal one but it's uh, these were signed as well um, so <coughs> I had to pick that up um, but the main reason I'm doing this video is um, because today I received um, this. Uh, from Dave in Cork. Um, here we go. Uh, fragile with care. Um, now, Dave, most of you probably know, um, is one of the Irish VC members um, who's been around for a while, makes good videos, um, finds pretty amazing stuff in the wild, um, and is obviously very generous uh, with his gift. And he has something um, that I've been looking for for a while. It's one of those albums that I really want, but uh, I was kind of hoping one day I'd stumble across it, but getting it as a gift is is even better. Because um, pretty much you know what, it, what it's like when you're collecting records. If you want, you can get whatever record you want, um, but uh, obviously uh, depending on their cost. But there's certain things that I personally, I'm not going to go on eBay or Discogs and buy a Rolling Stones album or a Beatles album or a David Bowie album. I might get a Bowie one if it's a rarer thing. Um, but generally, I know Led Zeppelin, perfect example. I'm not going to go on and buy a Led Zeppelin album because I know there's thousands of them out there and eventually I will stumble across across one. And this was kind of, this album kind of fell into that category, but it's a, probably a bit rarer than um, you know, it's maybe not common enough that I will find it here. That way. Um, but he also said that he had put some other things in here as well. Um, trying to get it open and failing miserably. So I will look forward to seeing what else he sent. Tab doesn't seem to come out. I can see the one at the top is the one that I know about, so that's kind of... I'm going to try and do this without seeing what the other ones are. Right, so the first one is this, uh, which is the debut solo album of Stephen Stills. Um, I think it was the debut one anyway. Uh, this is great kind of 70s 
or late 60s rock, when did it come out? 70? Yeah, 70 it was. Um, rock. Um, it's just a really strong album. Um, but it also has the um, the cool fact that it's the only studio album that features both um, Jimi Hendrix and Eric Clapton, arguably two of the greatest uh, guitarists of all time. Um, certainly widely widely viewed as. Uh, and this is on the another one of my favourites, the Plum Plum Atlantic label. Um, and wet. It looks really clean as well. There's there's not a mark on it. So that is um, fantastic, Dave. Thank you very much. Um, this is something that I've wanted for um, a long time. But like I said, it's one of those ones that um, I've never picked up. Lovely uh, glossy sleeve there. So that's fantastic. Thank you, Dave, um, for that. Right. Let's see what else he's got. It feels like there's how many more is there? Two more. So the first one is cool. Booker T and the MGs. Um, I don't have anything by them. Um, Here we go. This is uh, Soul Limbo. Um, oh, that's good. It's got uh, it's got their cover of Eleanor Rigby on it as well, which is always fun to listen to. Um, this, this is cool. I've not really, obviously, I've heard uh, Green Onions or whatever it was that they did. Um, and I know a few of their tracks, but I've never, I've never had an album by them. Um, and this is on uh, some stacks. There we go. Um, let's go. So when was that from? Sixty-eight. That was. That came out. Um, so that's going to be a fun listen because I don't, I don't know the huge deal of this kind of music, um, but I always really enjoy it when I do this. And it's because of where I live, um, things like this don't they don't crop up very often. You get a lot of country and a lot of rock um, and some folky stuff, um, but it's it's a uh, it's a rare day when you'd find uh, this up here, so that is really cool. And lastly, um, we've got we got I have no idea what this is. Oh no, Sean Arada. I have heard of him actually. Um, plays traditional Irish music on the harpsichord. So this could be interesting. Um, I have absolutely no no idea what this is going to be like, um, but I do know what a harpsichord sounds like. Um, so this is going to be quite interesting. Uh, Oh, and he was born in Cork as well, so curiously, it seems to have um, kind of Japanese, it looks as opposed to Chinese, it maybe looks more Japanese, I would say, than Chinese writing. Um, so I wonder whether this is, I have no idea, stumped by that, but look at that harpsichord, that's something else. 
Um, but anyway, 10 minutes. It's plenty long enough. Uh, thank you, Dave. Well, they are great. I will certainly get um, them listened to this week. Um, thanks to everyone who uh, commented and viewed my last video. Um, I didn't think I'd be making one quite as soon as this, but when uh, when those two packages arrived on the plane this morning, I couldn't couldn't resist um, and had to make something. So uh, thanks a lot. Take care, and um, I'll let you know what I think once I've listened to them, Dave. So good on you. Bye now.